Hey guys, Savannah Bell here with My Massage World. And in this week's video, we're talking about the difference between marketing to get clients and marketing to build a clientele. While this may seem like just a minor terminology difference, it's far more than that. Because if you're marketing solely to get clients, you may be hurting your business in the long run. Instead, you want to market in a way that builds your clientele. So what's really the difference here? Clients are singular people you get to come in for a massage, right? A clientele is the group of clients that you have, typically fitting some overall theme. And while you may think it's no big deal, it really is. Because a lot of therapists fall into the trap of marketing just to get a client on the books. It doesn't matter who, what, when, where, or how. Just get somebody to fill an appointment slot so you can feel like you're not failing, right? But that who, what, when, where, and how is actually really important. This is where you have to understand your ideal client. Now, I know I have talked about this a lot before, but it can't be overstated. You have to have this ideal client in mind in every part of your marketing. So when you're at an event or otherwise trying to fill your books, you're focused in so much on appealing to those that fit your ideal client profile that those general clients that don't really fit will fall to the wayside. And this is the clear distinction. You want to have people who look at your marketing efforts and are immediately turned off. It's not their cup of tea. It's not what they're looking for. If your marketing isn't disengaging to some people, then you're doing it wrong. Even if you cast a wide net or have a varying clientele in some ways, you should in no way be appealing to all people. If you're promoting a relaxation type style, people looking for clinical work will turn away. If you're promoting clinical work, people looking to just relax will turn away. If you're promoting the use of aromatherapy, those who aren't really into essential oils will turn away. If you're promoting massage for athletes, those who don't work out will turn away. If you use quirky humor to attract clients, those who don't enjoy that will turn away. If you're very hippie-ish, those who are looking for a more sophisticated or corporate feeling you know, kind of setting will turn away and vice versa. You can cast a wide net, appeal to a good variety of people, but you're still going to be turning some people off, and that's actually a good thing. Because your goal is to build a solid clientele, the majority of which should fit that ideal client profile. That solid clientele is what really builds a business. It's the collective of people who fit your ideal client profile, who are loyal to you and your business, and who sing your praises and refer their friends and family because they're just a perfect fit. They're the ones who make you happy to go into work, who remind you of why you do what you do. That clientele, that collective of your ideal clients is what builds a successful practice and what keeps the foundation of your business stable. If you're focusing on just getting a client in the door here and there without considering how they fit into your overall business mission and your base clientele, then you may very well end up down the road with a book full of clients but who don't fulfill your passion, who you don't necessarily even like to work with. It really comes down to this. Always think of the big picture, not just filling a spot on your books. Consider if that client fits your ideal client profile and if they would be a good part of your overall clientele. If not, then they're just a client to take an appointment. And while that may get you to your short-term goal, it's not going to do much for long-term success of your practice. For more tips on marketing, be sure to join the free Mom Massage World Facebook group where we are spending all week discussing it, plus new topics of discussion each week. Thank you so much for watching today. As always, check us out at MomMassageWorld.com, like us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and stay tuned for more videos. There's a new one every week.